Hi, my name is Doug Lacey, and we're going to be showing you some stuff today about the uh, parabolic stress skin construction process. And that's kind of a newfangled ferro cement uh, where it utilizes this very small amount of cement to achieve a, a big structural goal. And uh, what it's about is, uh, is, is building a thick armature out of remesh steel. There's no rebar used in this system to create these monolithic cast structures. Um, and what we start with for building the structure is uh, making these wireframe blocks uh, as, the, as the armature. And we literally just hog ring or wire these together pretty tightly to build the walls and what they call the barrel vault roof, an arch roof. And uh, then we skin each side of this with the expanded metal lath and we plaster that with a high strength composite uh, concrete um, that's pretty strong and flexible. It's a fiber reinforced cement that uses very little water so we achieve a PSI of about 17,000 PSI for the surface shell. And then so what we're left with is a hollow form like this. This is still hollow uh, even though it looks complete and it's very usable structure. Uh, and then we pump in this hollow foam, this hollow form full of cellular concrete, which uh, in contrast to the high strength cement, this is a very low strength insulating cement. And what that is, is just, uh, it's a cement paste called a neat cement paste where you just mix uh, cement and water, uh, about, a, about four and a half gallons of water to a bag of Portland. And then we add cellular concrete till we, get about, till we get about 48 gallons of mix and just pump that into the wall. And that's actually a structural mix. It's, it's still uh, about 680 PSI for that, but hardly needed with this because this high strength shell is quite structural in itself. But that'll, it increases the structural integrity of these types of structures a lot. Uh, it makes them pretty much can take a rain of cannonballs, it can handle hurricanes, tornadoes. I really couldn't imagine what you could do to tear apart one of these structures. And, and rather than just being a novel way to build houses, you know, using ferro cement and, and a lot of these new cement technologies, uh, what the most important thing about it is, is it's a low cost uh, method for building houses. This is cheaper than stick and frame construction, but it's a completely waterproof shell and it's quite durable. And so it's a good way to build homes and, a, and it's a good way for, uh, for somebody who wants to build a home uh, to build a little bit less expensively and build something solid. And part of the parabolic stress skin construction process is, is that we try to tie into it other themes sustainable themes uh, such as uh, water conservation. This is a desert area and so rather than drilling a well for this house and garage, uh, we're, we use a, a water tank and we and with a gutter design that is kind of integral to this whole system, we catch all of the uh, water and channel it to a 26,000 gallon water tank uh, for storage and for circulating and for uh, hot water for heating the home and for cultivation as well.